Hi, my name is Abbeth, and I'm an artist based out of Portland, Maine. And I'm going to be showing you how to carve a rubber eraser in order to use it as a drawing tool. So get yourself a piece of cardboard or a cutting board or something that you can cut into with a knife. And get yourself a nice sharp knife also for this. And um, you're gonna get one of these rubber erasers, which when you see it in the store, it will be a bright white eraser. You'll see the true color of it once I start to cut it open. And you're gonna hold the eraser, um, being careful not to cut your fingers, and just carve away the excess rubber as if you are whittling a stick into a point. It helps if you just kind of chop off one corner at an angle, chop off the other corner until you get a flat point at the end. And then you can slice off that side and that side in order to get a nice pencil tip sharp point. Alright, you should end up with something like this. Yours might look a little cleaner than mine, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And actually, you can even save the little extra scraps and use these as drawing tools as well. Alright, close your knife. And get a nice sheet of paper ready and grab a piece of soft charcoal and Coat the whole paper with a nice charcoal middle gray tone. You might even want to take a darker piece of compressed charcoal and make one half of the page a darker black just for the sake of experimentation. Once you have those two tones down on the paper, you can take your freshly pointed eraser and use it just like you would use a pencil to draw white into the darkness of the charcoal. Also remember to try using the little scraps that you created by carving the eraser. Um, maybe a nice sharp thin edge um, that can be used as a drawing tool also. My name is Abbeth and I just showed you how to make a drawing tool out of a rubber eraser.